Alright YouTubers, alright so I'm just going to do a quick little uh, review of this uh, Streamlight MicroStream. Um, Late Boy Scott just did one and it prompted me to do one, kind of give my two cents on it as somebody that really heavily uses this light. Um, I would say that I probably use this more than your average person, um, a tow truck driver, and I use this thing constantly. Um, people will always try and tell me to use headlamps and this and that and whatever. But I've found this to work the best. Uh, having a light on your head doesn't work as effective as you think it might be when you're crawling up under a car to hook chains to it or or just doing a lot of tasks. 90% um, of the time I either put it in my mouth or I'm holding it in my other hand when I hook something in. And, uh, and I use it a lot. Um, I mean, really a lot. I carry this thing 100% of the time, no matter what else I carry in my pockets. I always absolutely have this. Um, this is an updated C4 version, and uh, I looked it up today. I've had this for just a little over a year now, so I feel like I can give a pretty adequate uh, review of this. I had the older version of this, which was fine. There's nothing wrong with it. I actually just lost it. Um, but... So I've had this for a while, and as you can tell, it's worn on the edges because I do keep it in my pocket. And uh, and it does bang around against everything else. And But it's just, you know, it's it's not bad. Um, it has a new clip for your hat. I've never actually used that. Um, I don't clip it to my pants because it would just come off. Uh, it has a backup clicky, but I couldn't tell you where it was. Um, I'm sure it's in a drawer somewhere, but after a year of heavy use, I doubt you can see that. And I apologize, this camera doesn't have a macro on it. This is just a, you know, waterproof Kodak. Um, so I hope you can see that all right. But, uh, yeah, I have really, really like this. There might be better lights out there for other people, but for me, it's perfect. The 28 lumens that this puts out is very much adequate for what I use it for. And because it is a lower lumen and a good you know Cree light I think it's a Cree actually don't hold me to that but anyways the battery life is good on it uh, very good in fact I use this a tremendous amount I run in loops in it and I probably go through a battery every two weeks which sounds crazy but I'm telling you I, I really really use this a light a lot um, and I've used it in the worst possible conditions as far as wet, muddy, cold, um, dropped, banged, kicked, covered in grease, chemicals on it, I mean really just a lot of conditions. Um, and, and I've never had any problem with it. The lens on it is plastic and after about the first week started getting hazy but it doesn't affect the light enough to bother me um, as far as what it would lose in it. But it'd be nice if they put a glass one in it. But I'm sure that would affect the cost of it too. I think when I bought this originally, I did buy it when it was relatively new. Um, and I paid somewhere around $20. It's certainly worth that. I wouldn't give it up. I've tried a few other ones. I got my wife a Phoenix uh, AAA. And uh, it's extremely bright compared to this. And uh, But it doesn't have a clicky back. And, you know, it, it just... It just it's not what I need it for. I would rather have the life of the battery last longer and be a little bit lower lumens. But anyway, so there's my uh, there's my two cents on a Streamlight MicroStream. I for me, I absolutely just don't think that there's a better EDC. Um, and I'm not talking about any kind of tactical use with it or anything like that. I'm talking about looking in nooks and crannies, um, you know, going from your car to the door, uh, looking in the back of a cabinet, that kind of thing. Anyways, uh, there's my two cents. Uh, yeah, have a good afternoon or evening or whatever time of day it is. Take it easy.